I'm not a. I'm going to go to Apache Friends X AMP and download this system. I come to this screen and I'm going to click on XAMP and I should scroll down to here XAMP for Windows and that should take me to this girl right there and I'm going to scooch on down to where it says X amp is my jump off point. There it is. X amp. Currently we're at X amp Windows 1.81. I want the installer. Yes, I think I want the installer. I'm going to select the installer. And it should start to download in a moment. There it is. Save this. Go to Tools, Download, and you can see the XAMP installer is on its way. Done. Now well, I click on this phone, and I'm going to right click, open up the containing folder. That's my boy right there. And I double click. And do you want to run this file? Yes, I do. Click on run. Next. Yes, I want all of these. That's fine. Next. Let's put this in the D drive, XAMP. Next. Next. And here we go. Okay, it's done. Do you want to start the control panel now? Yes, I do. And it should be starting up any second. There it is. There's our boy. There's our control panel. Let's get rid of this stuff. And there's our control panel. So what do I want to do now? Two things. I want to start Apache, start MySQL. And then I want to click on Admin of Apache. So here we go. Start. And it says stop this. Now Windows tells me it blocks some of the features. No, no, no. Allow access. And then the next one, same thing again. Click on start. And it'll give me this then. Allow access. Now I need to click on the admin for Apache. So I click on admin and I come to this guy. And I'll be daring and click on English. Now I'm looking for tools. There it is. Tools. PHP my admin right there. That's what I want. I click on that guy and but a bing a beacon. This is my local host, 127.0.0.1. Wow, this is my PHP admin. I want this guy right here. Why, what do I want to do with him now? What I want to do, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller now, so you can see what I'm about to do. I'm going to close this down, put him back up in a second. Move this just a tad up. I'm going to go down to the desktop behind all this. I'm going to right click. And, whoops, maybe here. I want you to see this. 
right click, go to new, shortcut. All right, what shortcut do I want? <clears throat> I want the shortcut to this guy. Control C. And I paste him in here. And I click on next. Finished. Bingo, he's now up and running. Now, what do I have? I've got admin, stop, stop, admin, and I've got my PHP, my admin. I'm good. I'm going to close down PHP, my admin now. And I'm going to click on stop and stop for my SQL. Now, there's my shortcut. I'm going to double click on this. I should get an error saying that it can't connect. Can't display the web page. Oh, wonderful. Great. Can't do it. So let me start this up, Apache. And let me start up MySQL. Now that these two are started, I should be able to double click on this shortcut and get PHP my admin. Here we go. I double click and bingo, up it comes. Wow. That is super duper cool. All right. So we'll start working on databases in the next lesson. Till then, bye bye now.